Hi, welcome to Adulting with Novia. I'm Novia, and um, today I'm going to show you guys how I set up myself for March. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me on my channel here today. I know it's been a minute. Uh, February has been a whirlwind of busy for me. Um, between training for my new job and um, moving into my um, house, it's, I've been a little preoccupied. So sorry, I did not, um, give you guys a video last month, but, um, let me show you what I've been working with. So last month was busy, as I said, and I did not have time to, um, actually set up February in my A5 Stology as per usual. And this was the perfect time for my first buffer planner that I planned and showed you guys in my 2023 um, planner setup plan. Yeah, where I showed you guys all the things I bought for 2023. Um, this was a perfect time for the buffer, the buffer number one to step in because it was already set up. It was already ready to go there. I didn't have to fight with my silhouette or anything. And it actually is a standard size traveler's notebook. This cover, I believe I showed in that video. I'll link it up in the corner there. If you guys are interested in seeing the, all the, um, what my planner system plan was for 2023. Um, yeah, so this was some, from September leather. I got it on Amazon. It was like maybe 30 bucks tops. I'll put a link down below for you in case you're interested. Um, and it is wonderful quality. It scratches super easily. I really don't care about that. It's um, nice quality, nice sewn quality. And I absolutely adore this cover. Now, when it comes for what's inside of it, um, I have actually bought some inserts from Anthology Notes on Etsy. I'll link that down below as well. Um, and I made a cover using um, some scrapbook paper from the Honey Bee Shop. It's from one of her babe boxes. Um, actually, all like mostly almost everything in here that's like decorative is from the Honey Bee Shop, that same babe box, unless I tell you otherwise. But anyway, I made a cover for it out of that. This is also from that babe box, but this is the anthology notes. Um, standard size TN quarterly insert. This is the vertical. She has it in vertical. She has it in the horizontal where it's like the Hobonichi layout where it's like the week is over here and over here is blank, but I went with vertical. This came in clutch for me in February. <laughs> like, because it was there, it was ready. I cannot function without a planner of any sort. So this this really helped me. Um, so the way that this insert looks, you get this title page here. This is January through March. Um, you can print all your quarters at the same time or you can print them separately like I did. So the next one will be April through June, July through September, October through November, and so on and so forth. But they all come like this. So you get it, you get a 2023 overview and a 2024 overview. You get the three months within that quarter. So in this case, January, February, and March. Um, and then you roll into the weeklies, which look like this. So you have um, your time stamps on the side. It's 24 hours. And then Monday, well, I have a Monday start. I'm pretty sure she has a Monday start or a Sunday start. I prefer Monday start. And then your weekend, Saturday, Sunday, are stacked over here in this row. She gives you an AM and a PM. And it's grid, so you can, you know, easily write on it and try and keep a straight line. I write a little too big for um, how narrow these columns are, but for, it did what it needed to do. It gave what it needed to give at the time. So I'm not, I'm not knocking it. <laughs> because I like, you can tell how much I relied on this. And then this is March, which is pretty much blank because I'm moving back into my Stology this month. And in the back, it gives you three months of habit tracking. 
you have a significant amount of habits or things that you like you need to track here you have a significant amount of space for it for each day of the month and that is the end in the back here i have some sticky notes and then the second insert is the sticker release paper from traveler's notebooks that they released last year i have it in standard and i also have two in the pocket size so you know travel size um in here i just have my stickers for february and march my date stickers because i'm going to be back planning in my stology um so that way it's complete i can't not have it be complete <laughs> but i have that and i have some tabs that i made before my silhouette died and extra stickers from this setup before my silhouette side that i made and in the back here i have a a5 Stology cut down to standard size. I had it just cut down at um, Office Depot. Do I have an Office Depot and Office Max? I can't remember, pick one. And I think it cost me like seven bucks. I know for a lot of people, they're like two bucks, three bucks, four bucks. I'm like, no, nah, it was seven for me. So <laughs> once you guys walk into your store, I guess it just may vary, like it just depends on the store. But yeah, it was like, seven bucks because I had it cut up here and I had it cut down here so whatevs um this sticker I made myself it's um you know I tried to I had like this holographic stuff from Hobby Lobby from like forever and I finally used it and then I don't know like for some reason I just wanted like a real hot girl moment or something I thought of like who is like the original hot girl and in my mind it popped up as him from the Powerpuff Girls so <laughs> I um, printed that off. I made this and this. These two are from that, um, the Honey Bee Shop uh, sticker book as well. But like I made those and on the inside, I made a collage of, from an artist, her name is Viteloy. I don't, I'm probably saying it wrong, but Viteloy, cause I just, it fits the aesthetic that I was going for. So I made a collage over here. I do love her, her Powerpuff Girl rendition. And then over here, it's just a collage of things made from the Honey Bee Shop, Honey Bee Shop. I made this mental cash sticker because that's essentially what this is. It's just a mental cash. Honey Bee Shop, Honey Bee Shop, Amazon washi, Honey Bee Shop paper washi. And this black girl's been magic washi I've had forever and I cannot remember who I bought it from. If anybody can remember, please let me know in the comments so I can give them credit because it's like my favorite and I'm super stingy when it comes to using it because I want to have it forever. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so as I said, this is just, you know, a mental cache. I have an index of sorts. It's just where I empty my brain when I, ha when I have this whole setup with me. It's just where I put my ideas and my thoughts and grocery lists and meal plans and then here I started my March pre-plan and I just number them on the bottom as I go it's it's like nothing it's nothing deep <laughs> um on the side here typically sits a Tombow it's like it's gonna be pink themed I'm pretty sure this is this is what I consider my fun setup my fun situation because I'll like have all the stickers and stuff on it but typically it's gonna be some shade of pink is always going to be in that Tombow and as usual it's going to I'm going to be using my Sharpie S gel pen in this that's so that's my buffer planner someone asked me to show me to like on Instagram to show them what my buffer planner situation is this is the first one the second one if you um watch the video as a quick reminder is supposed to be my Midori A6 day on one page 2023 situation I don't know when I'm gonna use this or even if I'm gonna use this. I'll I'll figure this out. It's not <laughs> it's not detrimental because I bought my buffers in the event that I would um, have my usual year annual planner crisis in the summer. Because usually once it starts hitting June ish, I start like not liking the setup that I'm in or not liking the layouts I'm in, and I kind of get bleh about my planner situation. So that's why I originally bought these buffers so that I wouldn't be tempted to try and buy something else that we know won't work. So that's what these are for. So I know this works in a, in a cinch. This I don't know yet. So if I do have my annual freak out, 
I'll probably try this first because I haven't tried it yet. But we know this works and I'm very thankful that I had this already set up last month. I don't know how I would have survived. Now, excuse me, you little piece of lint. <sighs> this guy. So like I said, last month I didn't really use or set up really February much. I did it, I set it up a little bit, a little bit for it, um, but because I did want to fight with my silhouette to try and get it to cut number stickers, I didn't actually fully finish setting it up. I just did pieces and parts. So um, when I say I got a back plan, I, I got a back plan <laughs> in it. But for the most part, like I did set up like my sticky notes and my um like my weekly overview i just didn't put my dailies in there sometimes it ended up on a sticky note a lot of times it ended up in my standard size tm situation over here but i can go back and you know back plan in it because when it comes down to it i actually just took this guy out for the most part this insert i just took it out and carried it with me inside of my A5 TN situation here. So I still use this, but mostly it was for the financial page, like the financial pages, because I, I need those for my budgeting. But let's move on to March. So here we are in March. This is what um, I'm doing in March. I decided that I, I like this mood board situation. I've been doing this since November. It's just something simple. I like simple setups but i also like a little bit of um aesthetics to it it keeps the aesthetic part keeps me you know coming back for like and getting excited about using my planner on a daily basis now this is new this is what i was supposed to start in february but i didn't get around to writing it down in there i wrote it down in a cash session somewhere between this book and the and, and this guy so this is new so on this page I have like goals events and things that are a priority which you would think a priority and a goal are the same thing it's not <laughs> so this is I like to think of my goals this month because I haven't really officially goal planned for this year because um I've decided that winter is for rest Winter, winter is for restoring yourself. Winter is for just, just taking care of yourself. In the spring, things are new, things are growing. Spring is time for all that new year, new me, rah, rah, rah mess. <laughs> but when it comes to difference, the way I see the difference between goals and priority is goals are aspirations, things that I aspire to do, things I should do. Priorities are things that for the most part, uh, like I, I want to do. <laughs> like goals are things that are just seems like I want to fix every single thing in my new house that's on the inspector list. That's a goal. My priority is to fix the most important like 911 things in my house this month. See the difference? <laughs> So even though like the 911 things are more important than fixing all the things. So to me, that's the difference between in my, in my mind of what a goal is and what a priority is in this situation. And then obviously I'll have a place for events over here. I have my monthly setup. It's not filled out. None of this is filled out yet. I just finally got around to actually setting this up because I, I set up my desk situation yesterday. So I was like, I can do this now. Um, and this is the same monthly layout I've been using since November. I like it. <laughs> it's simple. It's to the point. It's not, you know, over the top. And it has just enough. Just enough to keep me interested. I did mess up the numbers over here, but who cares? It's my planner, not yours. I don't, I don't care. It's, as long as I know what it is, it's fine. It's the days of the week. <laughs> but, but like, I, it's fine. It's fine. I'll live. And then I have my typical weekly situation. As you can see, that's a 
that's a date sticker. So I, I, I got myself some date stickers. I did not use my silhouette. It will not work. It will not register. And when it try, and when I do it manually, it's just off. It's like off track. I'm not fighting anymore. I'm getting rid of it. And I'm probably going to go with the Cricut. I don't know yet because I feel like if I go to a Cameo 4, I'm going to be dealing with this situation again and I don't want to waste 300 bucks. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> weekly situation, I have my post-it note, my sticky note, monthly overview, so I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. My weekly overview for high-level things, and then my haphazard dailies are going to be over all like like that. That's it. That's That's how I do it every single week, and that works for me. Sometimes a picture pops in there, sometimes it doesn't. After all my weeklies, I have my spending trackers now. Spending, my spending tracker is different than the expense tracker that I use. This is all ripped up because I had to try and cut it because it was too far into the binding. But anyway, my spending tracker is different than my expense tracker for the simple fact that um, and all of my, ver like with my variable expenses, such as food, my car, my, you know, household items, my health and beauty items, each of those things have a different budget. Now, a lot of people use the cash envelope method for that and they divide it into cash envelopes. I don't do that. I leave my money in the bank and I just track my, my stuff this way. So here I'll put like food and whatever my budget is. And when I buy food, I'll take that expense off and see how much I have left. Same thing for my health and beauty, my household, my um, car expense, my allowance. Like, so that's the difference between this and the expense tracker. Why do I have both? Oh, that, that's a little rip. I had a little incident earlier. Why do I have both a spending and an expense tracker? Because at the end of each month, in theory, I have to still do February's, but at the end of the, each month, I track and figure out how much I spent on each um, each variable expense. So that that's why. So that way I know where I really need to cut back and where I don't. See, it's all in the binding. I don't know, I just did not glue these down properly. But anyway, the rest of it is just my budgeting um, sheets. So we're going, I'm back this way and over here these are my reflections so I have my monthly reflection my overall monthly reflection over here and then I have my card of the month this month is the four of Pentacles and here I'll have my beginning of the month reflection on upon that card and my end of the month reflection upon how that energy affected me that month that means a lot of money is going to be spent if you're not familiar with tarot <laughs> the four Pentacles reverse that means a lot like a lot of I'm losing a lot of money, either through recklessness or through like unexpected expenses. That's that's what that's what's gonna happen there. I was not looking for I was not looking forward to this card like all year. I was just not well, even though it's like only month three, like still when I did my card pull, I was not excited about that at all. <laughs> so yeah, March, don't hurt me. But that is the end of my March setup. Like it's, like I said, it's simple. It's to the point. It's not, it's not over the top. It's not crazy. It's, it's not artistic. Like I, I'm, and I, I love looking at artistic um, setups. I love looking at people who use their planners in various different types of ways, but I don't have the time. Like I legitimately do not have the time. Like. I spent most of February in my work planner because my new job, that's how much like mental power it takes me to do my job. It, it requires a lot. And I wish I could show you guys because it's super busy, but I can't. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I, so when it comes to my personal setup, I just want it to be simple, quick, but you know have a little zazz every now and then. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch. These aren't stickers. I just found these pictures on Unsplash and printed them off, cut them out with some scissors. These are bomb scissors, by the way. With some scissors and just, you know, went on my merry way and, and, and taped them down. It's, it's nothing that deep. You don't need, you know, all the things 
all the stationery to make your stuff pretty and functional. So yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got for you today. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to you know comment down below. You know I will respond when I see them. Um, if you are new here, please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and the little bell ringer next to it so you are notified when I post new videos. My goal this month is to have two videos this month. This is video number one. I'm feeling accomplished already. If you are returning, thank you so much for returning and, you know, joining me and watching me on my little planner journey as I'm trying to, you know, be the best version of myself. I'm trying so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> Until next time, thank you for joining me. Bye.